In this video, we are going to learn how to use only Google Drive. This tool is really good for communication purposes and it will help you complete all your projects, communicate within teams, and to other group members. What we're going to do first is we're going to sign in. What we need to do is, when you are already in a Google browser, you'll see in the right hand corner that it says sign in. You can automatically use this since you already created an account. If you need to learn how to do that, please watch the tutorial before this one. Let's click on Sign In. What you first want to do is locate your username. Once you do, click on it. It's going to ask for your password. Then click on Sign In. You won't be able to see anything yet. What you need to do is you need to go up to the dotted menu, click on it, and it'll give you a lot of different options. All of those are really good tools for asynchronous and synchronous communication. What we want to use today is Google Drive. So let's click on Drive. This tutorial can be used and reused for several purposes. You can do the same steps to creating new types of documents, sheets, or slides. Slides act as PowerPoint, Sheets acts as Excel, and Docs is just like a Word document. The difference between this and Microsoft is that you can be working on this, share it with your team members, and they can work on it simultaneously. So let's go ahead and do New, and click on Google Docs. The first thing that you want to do is create a title for your document. Place a title. For mine, I'm going to do Project 1 Brainstorming. Next, I want to make sure that this is available for my classmates. So I am going to click on Share, and before clicking on it, you'll notice that it says Private to me only. We're going to have to change that. Click on Share, and you can share this via email address, which you will need to know ahead of time from your members. All you have to do is type in the email addresses and hit Enter. Another thing you can do to make this link available is get the shareable link, but first you want to make sure that this is a available link. How you do that is you go to Advanced Settings, and you'll notice that it says Private, so you want to change that. Click on Change. You want to choose anyone with the link. Now there's another option if you would like somebody else to be editing or commenting on it. I usually want to keep it on canned comments, so maybe if they have some feedback for you or more ideas, you can take that feedback. So go ahead and save. And once you're satisfied with your settings, click on Send. What's going to happen now is that your teammates will receive this email and know that you've shared that with them, and they'll be able to open this and edit it. Click on Done when you're ready. Now the great thing about this type of documents in Drive is that they automatically save. So whatever I type in will be automatically saving and you'll see how it's saving up here. You'll notice that this will start behaving just as Word. You can insert images, you can publish, you can organize it, you can edit it, you can view, you can insert other things here, you can insert a chart if you would like. Put in some data, organize a report. You can also start typing using the voice typing tool. You can change the settings as much as you would like. I really encourage you to explore.